Hello, this is Mr. Chavry. We are back here with some more Heart Gold Soul Silver. We just defeated Team Rocket. And now it's time for us to exit the radio tower. And we can actually go just fly back to Mahogany Town. So that's what we're going to do, just fly back there. And we can actually exit out um, towards the east. I probably won't go back to the Safari Zone. Um, I know that Baboa called us saying that we could do the second part of the test, but I pretty much already talked all about uh, the Safari Zone that I'm, I think is necessary. Um, the test this time would be to catch a Sand Shrew. Um, it's a little bit tougher than catching the Geodude, but it shouldn't be that hard. And after you do that, then you're basically like a co-owner of the Safari Zone, and you can edit around the tiles, add decorations, and stuff like that. Anyway, now we can actually exit this direction to Route 44. There's some new Pokemon here. Um, Tangela is a new Pokemon that you can find here. Um, so is Lickitung. You can actually find Bellsprout and Weeping Bell here. Um, if you fish, you can come across a Rimmerade if you've got the Super Rod. Um, so yeah, River Raid's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's interesting. Um, it's disappointing that it's you don't find it until way later on like this. But it is a pretty cool Pokemon. And it evolves into Octillery. Which I always thought was a pretty interesting evolution line. Uh, Fish evolves into a uh, an Octopus. Anyway, this Natu is not going to be a problem for us. And then Kadabra, we've got our beautiful Eclipse here. I might actually switch Eclipse up front so it can catch up. I think that's what I would like to do. Now Reflect is actually going to help our opponent out. Oh, no, actually it didn't help out. It could have potentially helped out. Basically what I was thinking. Anyway. Yeah, Eclipse is going to get some nice experience. I want to actually put Eclipse up front. Because it's actually falling behind. Zephyr is falling behind too. But I think those two are the ones that really need some experience. We're going to grab this Max Repel here. Um, then we're going to go around. We can go around this little, uh, I guess they're both, I guess it's like a little lake. Yeah, so this is basically like a little lake. <clears throat> and payback's really our best move. Aurora Beam shouldn't do too much. Just because, you know, we've got really good special defense on this um, Umbreon. Nice, nice. Alright, with that, um, this person has another Remorade. Just, you know, it's not that bad. Remorade's not that terrible of a Pokemon to take down. It really isn't. Alright, Bubble Beam. Payback and Secret Power is going to be Umbreon's best options. I, I do have Quick Attack too. Um, Umbreon's main job is to come out if I need something to take special attacks. Alright, so this person is an ace trainer. That means she's actually going to have some tougher Pokemon or a better type. Um, a better mis ma matchup of type. So she's got a Mareep and a Blossom. Um, which, Mareep, she could have evolved that thing by now. But you know, oh well.
cotton spore that's going to slow us down. It's going to try to boost its own special defense with charge. But that's okay. Another secret power. Another one should do the job. All right. All right, Blossom comes out. Um, I'm going to quickly go into Zephyr and just use Fly. <clears throat> so we get some experience on this thing. I don't want Zephyr falling too far behind either. I think these next two routes should be Zephyr and Eclipse trying to catch up. Ooh, Stun Spore. That's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie, that's kind of annoying. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and fly. And that will be a nice experience for Zephyr. Letting Zephyr catch up. See if I've got something for. I've got a full hill. I'll go ahead and use that on Zephyr. So I can continue training that thing up. Oh, another battle. I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. Thank you. All right, Eclipse, come on out here, and we're going to go for a payback. Oh, smoke screen. That's kind of annoying. All right, so we do pretty good damage there. I'm going to throw up a secret power. This thing's going for a fire fang. I missed the quick attack. That's annoying. <laughs> and, oh my gosh. A crit! Alright, I'll, I'll have to use um, the revive on Zephyr. Or on. I know it says Zephyr. I meant Eclipse. I'll let Zephyr come in and finish off this thing. And we're going to switch into Zuko. Just because Zuko can handle this thing pretty well. Fire Blast. Boom. Whoosh. Alright, with that, go ahead and Lyra's calling. She's probably going to just talk about how her Meryl smells like mop water. I think that's all she wants to talk about. Even though earlier she said her Meryl evolved, she called back and it's like, oh, my Meryl. Um, I'm just going to use a super potion, I think. There we go. Alright, so now we can go up here. 
And right here, there's an item. The Ultra Ball. Nice, nice. And we're going to go ahead and battle this person. This person has a Rhyhorn. Level 30. We're going to click Payback. Just because I think... Obviously, Payback does the best in terms of damage. It's not doing much to Rhyhorn, uh, because Rhyhorn has really good defense. Um, so much so that I want to actually switch into... Awfully. Let Awfully handle this thing. Rhyhorn's actually a really good Pokemon, too. Um, it has good attack and good defense. If you were to evolve it into Rhydon, it would be an amazing Pokemon. Um, and then in this game, if you've got the protector item, um, you can actually give it to your Rhydon and trade it, and it'll ev evolve into Rhyperior. Now, Rhyperior is a little bit slower than Rhydon, but it's got better defense and better attack. I always liked Rhyperior. Rhyperior is a really cool Pokemon. Um, so yeah, this person here is a fisherman. His name is Fisherman Wilton. He uses two Goldines and a Sea King, and he will ask you for his number. Now, if you want his number, um, he will call you, um, to give you different Pokeballs, it says. If you're playing Gold and Silver, he'll actually call you for Remoraid Swarms. Um, so I'll, I guess maybe he still does that in Heart Gold Soul Silver? Maybe? Probably not. I don't know. It just said that he gives you different Pokeballs. So. I'm guessing they change what he does. Alright, Eclipse is confused. Eclipse still can do the payback. I'll just stay in. I'll actually just hard switch. So Eclipse still gets some experience. Into Seeker. Alright, let Seeker get some experience here. Get a nice spark going. Boom. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think Confuse Ray could actually come in handy. Um, no Quick Attack is doing so little. I don't think I want to keep Quick Attack. I think um, Confuse Ray Sand Attack would be a pretty good combination. Confuse things, sand attack them, so they don't hit as often. Yeah, quick attack's not really helping me. I'm going to just stay in with Sea King, or stay in, stay in to Seeker for the Sea King. Oh, we've got a nice paralysis going. Boom. Nice. Alright, level 32. Still love to get Thunderbolt. Spark is going to get to the point where it's not doing much for us. Fishing here sometimes I catch items that people drop. Nah. But yeah, this is where you get interesting different Pokeballs. Um, now what you want to do before you go on to the next route is actually hop on your Surf Pokemon and use a Repel. I'll need a Repel anyway for what we're about to do. And you can actually Surf onto this middle 
island. There's actually an interesting graphical quirk that they've got on this little path in between the two lakes. Um, if you see, you know, it's like three spaces, right? One, two, three. Um, but over here, there's actually a fourth space that you don't see that actually still has grass. It's a little graphical quirk that's with this little route. With that, we have defeated Route 44. Or completed, rather. Well, actually, no, there's one more trainer over here that you can battle. And this is Birdkeeper Vance. That's right. Birdkeeper Vance. And he will also ask to give you his number. Um, and if you do, he will give you Carbos after you defeat him in a rematch. Now, that's a pretty good way to get items, you know, that would help you out if you're trying to um, EV train your Pokemon. Alright, we'll hard switch into Seeker. I feel like Eclipse and Seeker is going to be really helpful in my next gym battle. Oh, Reflect. That's not good. A Thunderbolt would be so nice. Would be so nice. Alright, Pidgeon. We're just going to go ahead and let Seeker get some more experience. Because even though, you know, Eclipse is going to help put me out in the next gym, I think Seeker is going to be the main Pokemon uh, that I rely on. Yeah, we'll get a crit there, which is nice. Alright, we don't need the number. Alright, now we can go into the Ice Path. There's some new Pokemon here. Um, Jinx is a new Pokemon you can catch here. And Jinx is actually surprisingly good. A lot of people don't realize that Jinx is actually decent as a Pokemon. Um, you can also find Swinub here. Uh, Swinubs evolve into Piloswine. And then if you teach it, or if it knows Ancient Power when it levels up, then you will know, or then it will evolve into Mamoswine, which is a really cool Pokemon. I love Mamoswine. I love Mamoswine. I'm trying to remember how you do this puzzle here. It's been a while. It's been a while. There we go. Also, you want to go in this little section here. Um, I just made a wasted move there. This way, okay. Waterfall. You will actually need to, you know, come over here and get Waterfall. Just because, um, you actually can't progress later on without it. Right, and this right here is actually the photographer guy. That was an HM. Actually, no, that wasn't a photographer. I want you to keep it. You took the time to get it. Yeah, so that's not the photographer. It just has the same um, sprite as the photographer. Alright, so for this part, um, you want to use strength. Good thing we've got strength now. And you want to push these boulders down the hole. Um, I don't know, my repels wore off. Another Pokemon you can get down here if you're playing Soul Silver is Delibird. Um, Delibird's not really the best Pokemon. <clears throat> it's more of like a gimmicky Pokemon. It is, like, interesting if you want to try it out for the gimmick of, you know, a Pokemon that, that uses the move present, which can actually heal up your opponent sometimes. 
It's like random if it heals up or if it does damage. Alright, we got the first boulder in place. Um, now we want to go around here. I'm trying to remember this puzzle. This boulder that goes down to the bottom one, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this place seems really cold. All icy. Um, which goes into my question of the day. Tell me about a cold day. It could be like a, a snow day, an ice storm, something like that. Um, I remember back in 2009... There was actually an ice storm where I lived <coughs> that ended up knocking out the power for weeks. There was like two weeks that we didn't have power. So everything we did was by candlelight. I ended up reading so many books in that little time. Alright, so let me get on this side. And then we can go on the other side and push it down the hole. And there's one more that we had ready from nearly the beginning of this whole thing. Um, and with that, we can jump down the hole. And you jump down here. You want to go over here and grab this item, Max Potion. Um... And there's like a specific way that you move to get to where you need to go. I think it's this one, maybe? No, how, which one is it? Alright, here we go. You go this one, this one, this one, and then this one. And grab that full heal. Go down the stairs. Um, we still, do we still have Rock Smash? Yes, we do. Okay. You know, I honestly forgot that we had Rock Smash. So go ahead and do that and grab this item, the Never Melt Ice. If I had Ice Beam to teach, that would be so amazing. We're almost out of repels. Is there any item? There's an item down here in this little corner. Actually, what you have to do is step on this one square. Go over and grab it. Avalanche. That actually might come in handy. <coughs> it might. I'm not sure if it will or not. Um, let's go up the stairs. Or ladder, rather. Um... So actually, here, you can go around this way. You actually need this boulder in place to get that item down there. I think I kind of messed it up, huh? If you mess up, that's okay. You just go down the ladder and come back up the ladder. And it'll reset the boulder. You just want to push it down once. You don't want to push it down all the way. There we go. We'll find an iron. We'll go back up. We can grab this item, which is the protein. And 
and you'll see this this other um, girl over here kimono girl you're just going to have to help her out of the ice that she's stuck in and there we go not too much of a problem um, there's an item down here that you can grab so we'll grab that real quick trying to remember how you get to it okay so what you want to do is go up around and then grab it our point up now you can go across and exit ice path and there we go we are in blackthorn city where we can get the final gym badge um we're going to end this episode here if you like this give it a thumbs up subscribe i will see you in the next pokemon video